Hey hey people! This time I will try to disable hack shield. I first started fly from launcher, to grab process argument with process hacker. So I can create shortcut that will load fly as it's loaded from launcher. This way I won't need to run fly from launcher that might check mini a.exe integrity. Seems the process argument was right one. I am going to open mini a.exe with debugger and empty the string what is used to load hack shield dll. First I will remove debug breakpoints what is left from previous testing. Then from symbols we can follow base address easily. And search for, current module, string references. Then from hack shield folder we can see ehsvc.dll is the one it wants to load, so search for this name in the debugger. Copy address of string and go to the address in hex dump. Then you can use Ctrl plus E to write two zero bytes. And then, patch current modifications to exe with different name than mini a, because it is still open in debugger. Stop debugger and rename original mini a.exe to something else, so it is backup, and rename patched exe to mini a. Then run game from shortcut. And it seems message box pops up showing error. Attach debugger to process and let's play some breakpoints. Tap Ctrl plus G and write kernel 32.terminate process. Set breakpoint to push EBP. And set breakpoint to kernel 32.exit process 2. Then click OK on message box and one of breakpoints should break. There is return address, a place which called exit process. Go to that address and check if we can reverse if sentence why it was called. This function seems to end process anyway, regardless the if sentence. I am going to calculate the offset of the address and show from Ghidra how this function looks in more readable code than machine code. As you see, it will exit process anyway. So let's see what is calling this function. And seems this is Visual Studio specific code too. So let's see what is calling this function too. And there are way too many. From debugger we can see third return written in red, by the ending address we can filter out other ones. Oh crap, another Visual Studio specific exit function. And again, now in stack view from fourth return in red I am going to filter out reference addresses again. This function looks awfully similar to entry point. And so says the name too. So, just stop the debugger and try another way. This time I am going to check what is calling message box. To do so, let's set breakpoint to user 32.messagebox A. And set it to at the end of function. Also set breakpoint at the end of function for user 32.messagebox W2. Then make sure debugger is in running state and hit OK to message box. And go to return address that stack view shows in first red line. I am going to calculate offset from address again to show in Ghidra. In debugger you see jump if equals, but in Ghidra you will see better how if sentence is playing out. Just pressing G to go to the address. Here is three else clauses that will display error message. So we need to just invert three if sentences. If you scroll up you can see the start of if sentence. And if you click on if sentence you will see on the left side location of assembly code corresponding to pseudo code. So let's just make those jump if equals to jumps in debugger. I am feeling lazy right now to talk, so just watch where I edit assembly lines.
Now the three sentences are inverted. So, let's patch them. Name patched file to something else than mini A. Stop debugger. And rename current mini A, to backup file and patched one rename to mini A. Then run shortcut. And voila, no more error messages. Damn, cheat engine check is still running somewhere in thread. Attach debugger and click OK to message, since breakpoints from message box are already set. Then go to return address that stack view is giving us. And again, I am going to show in Ghidra how this function is working in more readable code. These are all the window titles it is looking for. And this is infinite loop, searching window titles and if it is found then showing error message. The simplest way to bypass it, is to change it to infinite loop with sleep function call. So, go to the start of loop and disassembler, by following jump after sleep function call. And change jump if equals to jump. Then patch file, and rename files as we did last time. and the hack shield and cheat engine detection should be bypassed for this game now. Seems no more error messages while cheat engine is open. And no more hack shield that was keeping us from editing memory. So, this video is now over. Bye bye. And always, have a nice time.